Best-selling author John Grisham has sold more than, listen to this, boys and girls, okay. 300 million copies of his wow. books. Wow. 300 million. They include classics like The Firm and A Time to Kill. <laughs> Grisham has had 29 consecutive number one books on the New York Times fiction bestseller list. His work has been translated into nearly 50 languages. Now he is out with his 30th novel, Camino Island. It is about a heist of the original manuscripts of F. Scott Fitzgerald's novels and the efforts to retrieve them. John Grisham joins us now, and welcome back. Always fun. My pleasure. <laughs> but now, so here you are. Yes. Um, now, you, you love rare books. Mm -hmm. So you, you knew about them, had a great affection for them. Uh, how, how did you create these characters, Caleb yeah. and Mercer? Well, um, I wanted to write a uh, I wanted to write a beach book. Yeah. Oh, nice. For years, my novels have been criticized as being, you know, nothing more than beach books. So I thought, okay, I'll show you a beach book. <laughs> <laughs> go I'm get them, write Grisham. The ultimate beach book. And there you go. That was how I got started. A uh -huh. mystery without lawyers, not a legal thriller, but uh, uh, and I and I do enjoy rare books, and that's something I want to write about. I was but it also has that. a theft in it, a big time theft. Starts off with a big time theft. But but not only that, Charlie, the big time theft is so detailed. It's so detailed with how the theft is carried out, how it's covered on the news, how the how the people decided on the theft. It made me think you know a lot for a law-abiding citizen on how to pull off a crime. I faked it all. It's all fake. It's all I got it from Google. No, I was yeah. no. Did you really? I was really fascinated by the detail of how this theft was pulled off with these rare manuscripts. I have no idea how to steal manuscripts. I've never uh -huh. done it before. I mean, I just I made it up. <laughs> yeah. I did some research. The manuscripts yeah. are really at Princeton in the Firestone Library. They that exist. part is true. That's yeah. all true. Uh -huh. I apologize to Princeton in my author's note for 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 you know for tell, talking about their manuscripts. I don't know why I apologize. But you said it was on the website. It's all, all on the website. They have a huge website. So why uh, did you apologize? Well, you know, th this is the type of attention they probably don't want. The, the fear is you may inspire someone to try this. Mm, yeah. Because uh, it's a library, not a bank, not a, not a vault, not, not a place. Which is the reason you say you make it up. He heavily guarded. Right. Mm. It's all made up. It's all mm. fiction. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot in the book about, you know, it's, it's bookstores that you are now going to do your first book tour in many years and you're going to bookstores. Right. Because I'm bored. <laughs> Are you bored John? <laughs> yeah, you know, this is very unusual for you. I should go to bookstores. Yeah, best-selling writers should go to bookstores to 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 say thanks to the booksellers, yeah. to meet fans, sign autographs, sign books, talk, whatever. And I'm going to do that for the first time in 25 years. The other interesting thing is you you bring up rare books, which you have several of them. Do you have any F. Scott Fitzgerald rare books? You do, right? I have three of his five. Here's I don't have The Great Gatsby. I have uh, I don't have Beautiful and the Damned. Mm -hmm. I have This Side of Paradise, and I can't right now. I can't think of the others, yeah. uh, but they're 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 pretty rare. In What's fact, that mean? First, first edition, first printing, first, first printing. Yeah, printing. same thing. First edition, first printing, uh, and it depends on how how small that first printing is and how rare the book is. Uh, for example, a pristine copy of The Great Gatsby had a small first printing. Uh, if you can find one, uh, one recently sold or was offered for sale for a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's how the value of some of these things. Can I come back to character? So yeah. Bruce sure. Cable is on an island somewhere. Yeah, uh, in Florida. Camino Island. Camino Island, right? The title of the book. Um, <laughs> did you model him after somebody? Do you, no. Do you yeah. just make him up? Period. I made him up, yeah. How uh, about Mercer, the young woman? Well, made her Mercer up. Mercer man. man. Yeah. Mer her, made her up, yeah. But, but Bruce Cable wears yeah, seersucker people... suits. Yeah, but sometimes you base it on something, to Charlie's point. Mercer, I mean, Bruce Cable wears seersucker suits, right. yellow in all colors in a bow tie. I'm thinking, I don't know what kind of dude that is. But he's very charismatic, involved in an open loves marriage. Women, loves, loves women. Loves women. Loves women. Loves to drink and party. And But he's also a very serious bookseller. Yes. He has a great bookstore. He makes a lot of money with rare books, and he's uh, unknown to most folks, he dabbles in stolen rare books, yes. and that's where he makes a lot of money, and that's how he gets involved in this plot. But uh, the whole time I'm reading, I think, I wonder if John really feels this way, because in the book they say writers fall into two camps, those who know the ending before it begins and the other who... Well, most writers will tell you they have no idea when they start. Yeah. They create a great character, and that character takes over the action, and they follow that character wherever he or she wants to go. That's total BS. Where do you I mean, fall? Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you have to, pl plotting takes work. You have to carefully plot and outline your story before you start. If, especially if you're writing mysteries or suspense or thrillers where the plots can get very intricate. You take, it takes a lot of work. I mean, I spend a lot of time outlining before I write the first word. And you did yeah. your writing tips. And this I, is what I really like. Don't write a prologue 
I, I love hate, that. I, I got that from Elmore Leonard. Uh -huh. None of these are original, uh -huh. but I hate, okay. I hate prologues because they, they're right. kind of gimmicks to suck you in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These writing tips, you shared them with the New York Times, and I think they're great as yeah. well, Gail. Number one, you wrote, do write a page every day. If you're, yes, when you start your first novel, you, you hopefully have a job doing something else. Uh, <laughs> so you have to carve out some time. But until you're doing one page a day, every day, nothing's going to happen. And that saved me 30 years ago with The Time to Kill because I, would, I, had, to, I had to learn that lesson the hard way. I would put it down and, and nothing would happen for two weeks. I made myself write at least a page a day. Yeah, but and I, you say write it at the same uh, time place. and place every yeah. day, too. Like, it reminds me of the thing about routine. Remember? Yeah. Routine, yeah. routine, yeah. routine. Right. Scott Turow wrote Presumed Innocent on the train going to work every morning in yeah. Chicago. He had a, he had a spot. He wrote the great novel 30 years ago, his first big book, On the Train. But don't, keep with the, don't keep a thesaurus within reaching distance. Do not, because there are three types of words you said. Well, there are three types of words. Words we all know, yeah. words we should know, and words nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> yes. I love that. But don't use the third category. Yeah, don't use but, the word nobody but knows. How much yeah. of the plot comes after you get involved in writing, after you put pen to paper and you're in chapter four and you realize or think something that you're going to put in? Rule Captain number eight. two. Yeah. Yes. Don't write the first word until you know the last scene. Yeah, outline. But in between, yeah. things happen because but character you, you, gives you... Can't, you can't outline 400 pages. Right. And you don't want to because you, but, but the surprises are fun. Right. Uh, the characters that pop up for no reason, the characters that go with the characters you kill off, that's always yeah, fun. Right. Uh, but you, 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 can't, you can't predict what's going to happen. But you better know your last scene and you better know where you're going. I knew the yeah. last scene of this book before I wrote John, the John, you said every writer has a mean streak of envy. This is what Mercer says. Do you think every writer has a mean streak of envy? Are you talking no. about thyself? No, and Mercer has, is struggling. Okay? Yes, she is. She's really, she, she's had writer's block for seven years. She can't finish her novel. She's, mm -hmm. she's struggling. So she, she, she's got some baggage, okay? It's a fun yeah. read. I'm not envious. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have read every single one of your books. The, the last ones, too. The Whistler, Rogue Lawyer, Gray Mountain, Sycamore Row. They were all really excellent. Thank you. So great, too, as we begin summertime. Thank you. Thank you. you. Yeah, thank book. you. Yeah. Hey, I'm starving. Where's my Shake Shack? <laughs> we'll we'll, can I, can we'll I pay for Shake you to go to Shake Shack. Go yes, get a burger. We have to we'll pay, pay for it? it? Yes, we'll give no, we'll those, those guys yeah. yesterday didn't pay for it. Charlie, we'll we do it. We can do a John Grisham book signing. When you get an offer, take it and smile. Let's pass the hat for John Grisham. You didn't talk about Tar Heels. You didn't bring a basketball. Number one, they are. North Carolina Tar Heels. Let's pass the hat for John Grisham. Yeah, he's great. I Thank can you. Tell he needs a he needs a donation. We'll right. Like 300, 300, 300 million books yeah. sold. Yeah. <laughs> we can get you a burger. Yo, who's counting? I mean, who, who's counting those books? We I, are. I, I want to yeah. meet that person. We are. Camino Your wife. Island. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Camino Island on sale now.